Okay, y'all. Um, got my brother back in the house. I had an opportunity to sit with this brother not too long ago, and I enjoyed it. I knew we had to do it one more time, one more again, as they say. Please welcome St. Louis own my brother Murphy Lee. Murph, what up, kid? What up, big bro? Top of top of the day. How you doing? Top of the day to you. Yo, I'm gonna tell you, it's hot out here. How, how's it where you at? I'm outside now. I'm out in the gazebo now. It's hot, but it ain't, you know, Atlanta is man manageable. Got you. I, I, I told you, like, real talk, you got a better backdrop than I got. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. You know, since 2020, we've been zoomed out. I done found a million backdrops and all types. <laughs> <laughs> That's real talk. I mean, it's crazy how this world changed, but like, like you said, since 2020, like, like we've been zoomed out and, and it's just showing that the world can survive virtually. Yeah, I like it though. I like it this way. It ain't, it ain't a bad thing. Nah, I, I, I'm with you 100%. I really am. And it give a chance to do stuff like this. Once once upon a time, you had to wait for folks like you to be in, in your city or, um, you know, yeah. come up to the studio, find time in your day. But like you said, you, you in a gazebo right now, handling business. Yeah, but what's called, um, you know, all the media used to have to go to one state, one city to talk to the person at one time and all that. Now you can just, you know, I love it. I love it. I love it. It get more yeah. jobs, more more opportunities, more everything. You you remember them days like like you literally had to wait yeah. into everybody. I mean, they, they still do it. I think BET still do it at the BET. Now you, should, you should do press conferences or somehow somewhere where you invite everybody in one place. That's dope, too. But. Yeah, you used to have to do it for the albums. I mean, a million people, you used to have to do a million interviews answering the same question. Nobody was different. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't wait to get to somebody different interview because they, they're not going to ask the same question that you just said 29 times. You had to keep repeating, you know what I'm saying? So. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I didn't even expect for the, for the interview to go in this direction, but let's go for a second. Hey, a lot of us, we're on the other side. Oh, you know, you're the artist. People don't realize y'all be sitting there answering the same questions a thousand times. Do y'all go into interview? Is matter of fact, I'm gonna ask you a two part question. Do y'all go into interviews dreading it? And number two, is that the reason so many artists be like, "Yo, I don't even do interviews." Like, like it, it, it take a special person, a special moment in my career for me to even want to do an interview. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's two parts to that. I think, let me get the one part that I remember immediately from your question is that half of them don't do interviews because they, uh, half of them don't, they got half the brain. It's a lot of them can't talk, can't, a lot of strict series. Like a lot of them don't, don't do well with questions, people questioning them, you know what I'm saying? And, and they got to an answer. Um, a lot of them, a lot of them still with people who do wrong. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of questions be getting asked and they get into situations that they're not supposed to be in because they done said the wrong thing on accident. Uh, but it's really, it's really the person. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I'm prepared for that because I love it. I like that part of school. I like that part of, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I can, I like debating and and talking back and forth with with the with the it's and I like knowledge. You know what I'm saying? And I like the wisdom and the understanding of all of that. So. I think that that plays a part when people want to be in the thing. But a lot of people just realize that sometimes the media get nosy and it'd be like, it'd be the same thing. Like you asking for the same thing. You're not asking because you really care. You know what I'm saying? You ask because it's that's what's up. That's what you got to ask. It's your job too. You know what I'm saying? You're like, I got to ask these questions. So you ask them anyway when in reality, man, you don't ask no grown man that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what it is when it's when it's not right. So a lot of them just, just steer from it because they know for a fact, true. It can lead to some trouble or I'm going to say the wrong thing and then the, the internet going to kill me. You know what I'm saying? They be asking me to rap. I can't rap that well. And I get embarrassed now. <laughs> my career going backwards. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot to that, man. And the interviews can do it. So I like how I like how how the, the, the big artists choose their ones that they want to do. You know what I'm saying? I think that's that's that reminds me of how all the big artists used to come out every three years, every two years. You know what I'm saying? They ain't just force it, force it, force it. They actually made you miss them. They actually had something to say. You know what I'm saying? How Jay-Z hit, hit the breakfast club sometimes. I think that's super dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
We only seen him once or twice on, you know what I'm saying? He don't go every time he drop an album, he go and and we appreciate it when we see them. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that's a big part with the big artists, but all these other young little artists will be saying, no, they ain't tripping. You better get your media game up and get in every podcast and in front of everybody you can because you're not them. Yo, you 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 know you dropped a mouthful right there. Like right. you dropped a lot in, in, in a few minutes, and I just want to dissect it. First and foremost, uh, you know, artists like Jay-Z, they really do make you miss them because they don't do media often. But they're so well trained in media. Now, granted, Jay been doing this. Jay, Jay, Jay been on the scene since 95, 96. I think his first album came out in 96. So he got a real 30 years of the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows, how not to fall into the pitfalls with the media, all that. But what, why is it so hard for, for artists to just be like, you know what? I got no comment on that. Or you know what? I wasn't there, so I, I can't really speak on to something that just like you wasn't there, I wasn't there. It seemed like it's so difficult for artists to understand no matter how difficult or intrusive the question might be, nobody can do anything with it if you don't answer it. And, and it's okay to just be like, yo, you know what? I really don't know. Next question. If, I, that's, that's super facts. But you get in the moment, you forget the camera on, you forget you roll, it's time you get comfortable. Uh, you might be high drunk. You might be, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it, can, it, can, it can get there. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real, you think you're doing somebody a favor. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all got to look at it like that, too, because it's like, I don't want to not answer a question because you I'm here for you. You know what I'm saying? You asked me to be on her press. I'm not going to not answer the questions. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to try to answer it to the best I can. But you're right. Like, you should should be quiet if you don't know what you're talking about. Like, like even the chinky thing that y'all done came back with or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't want to be in there. I don't, I wasn't there or what's called. I said it 20 times. I wasn't there. And that was just my perspective of what y'all was saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't there. I wasn't, I don't know. You got to ask Chingy or Ali. But I still, I still answered it a little bit though. Still, I still gave you my side of the story or whatever I heard. But I'm really defending my big brother saying his chain got took. I'm like, he didn't get it took. That's my whole thing. My whole, I didn't even go to the question yet. I still was on uh you feel me what i'm saying like i, I didn't even go to the question i was like my brother chain and get i was more in the defensive my brother chain and get snatched that was somebody who had the chain wasn't supposed to have it and all that you know what i'm saying like and that's where i was at and it made me say something about the story when i wasn't there and i didn't care you know what i'm saying like i don't give a damn so it, it's 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 that easy to you know what i'm saying to fall into a question because like you said we like I, we we there for y'all you know what i'm saying like that's how we looking at it like if i did take my time out to come out to do this interview. I said, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna answer the questions, you know what I'm saying? Like I can, as best as I can, you know what I'm saying? So I think we just, like I said, we get we get zoned out and follow into it, fall into some of that stuff. But you if know, you're not supposed to answer, you're not supposed to answer, especially the illegal stuff. If you're not supposed to answer, you're not supposed to, supposed to answer. And, and and that's 100% facts. Um, That's a whole different, like, like bag of worms right there. We ain't even gotta go, like if you doing something, <laughs> You ain't supposed to be talking about it, especially <laughs> if 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 it's still in what 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 is it the the statute of limitations? Like damn, oh, um, man. I don't I, man. We can go back and get old records now, like if on old writings from the sixties now. So I don't put no statue on nothing. I don't trust no <laughs> law. They could change it yesterday. You wouldn't even know the law got changed because we ain't into it like that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't say I don't want to talk about nothing illegal. I don't care right. what happened. You know what I'm saying? No, Stuff no, shit you. Little, it's different. You know what I'm saying? If I did something when I was younger and it was little and I was just showing young folks, yo, it's dumb. I did this stupid stuff. Blase, blase. That keep it pushing, but we get too deep. I don't like that. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.